Hello, my name is Anjali and I'm a consultant dermatologist. In this video, I'll be explaining how acne develops. All acne starts in the same place with a hair follicle, which is a small opening in the skin from which a hair grows. Each hair follicle is made up of three main parts, a follicle shaft, a hair, and an oil producing gland known as the sebaceous gland. The skin cells that line the follicle shaft are replaced by new ones every 28 days. In acne, the cells lining the follicle wall produce too much keratin, a substance that helps to protect the skin from damage. This excess of keratin can cause the dead skin cells to stick together, making them harder to expel from the follicle. Cells that are not expelled from the follicle mix with a flow of oil that is produced by the sebaceous gland, a gland in the skin that produces oil to keep your skin moisturised. Together, the dead skin cells and oil can form a blockage in the hair follicle. This plug of cells and oil is how most acne begins. Although sometimes the blockage can come from outside of the hair follicle, when substances such as sweat, makeup and oil on the skin surface enter into the follicle's opening and become trapped. As the oil from the sebaceous gland, known as sebum, continues to flow towards the surface, it begins to build up behind the blockage, making it larger. Bacteria that live on your skin and inside your hair follicles find the oily blockage an ideal environment and begin to multiply. As the blockage grows, it can create a split in the hair follicle wall. White blood cells rush in to fight the bacteria inside of the blockage, causing inflammation of the surrounding skin and a pocket of pus to form, which is made up of dead white blood cells, bacteria and other debris. On this page, you will find more information on how acne develops and the different types of acne that can form. Elsewhere on the website, you can find out about treatments, how to help prevent acne, how acne scars can be treated, how you can cover up your acne and acne scars, and what you can do when acne is causing you emotional distress.